Hello everyone, my name is Kaushik Kanal Singh, and for my CS112 project, I created Spider-Man the Platformer. Now, Spider-Man the Platformer is a 2D platformer with a twist. Almost no platforms. Now, what do I mean by that? I'll get to it in a second. But essentially, users must help Spider-Man collect all the Infinity Stones he can before Thanos destroys the universe. Now, I know you guys are thinking, this is, in fact, based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, both in its mechanics and its theme. So just like in the cinematic universe, how Spider-Man is portrayed as a friendly neighborhood superhero in this game, even though there are enemies who can affect you, Spider-Man cannot affect them back. He cannot damage them, he cannot attack them, you simply must run away. And in terms of the mechanics, I think the easiest way to demonstrate that would be to actually play the game. So here in the tutorial, we can see that users can use W, A, S, and D to move Spider-Man around the place. And the first interesting mechanic, which is coming right up, is the fact that Spider-Man can climb walls. Yep, he can just go right up this wall, which is unique to this kind of platformer. And second of all, as you can read over here, if just the click of a button, Spider-Man actually can shoot a web and swing across buildings. Now, that's an important point, because as you can see, Spider-Man isn't great at jumping, but his webs can take him really far. So in this game, users will have to use his webs a lot. Also, Spider-Man has special moves. I mean, he's a superhero, right? So if I press Q, it creates a circle in which all the enemies will get paralyzed. And E will make Spider-Man invisible. Like this. And I'll demonstrate this again in the first level on how it can be used against enemies. So over here, as you can see, two enemies spawned right next to me in the beginning and I think the implementation of the enemies was one of the most complex parts most complex aspects to implement both in terms of its algorithm and the implementation itself so as you can see right now the enemies are following me and they can do damage to me once they get close enough but they also have many other states as you can see right now since I exited their territory they've gone back to roaming around their, roaming inside their territory now there are also other behaviors that they can take place as um, follow the player even outside their territory and they can also retreat back into their territory if they venture out too far. Over here I have two more enemies and I think I can use a special move here in which I will press E and now I'm now <laughs> invisible so the enemies cannot see me, they cannot damage me and that will give me enough time to walk up here and bypass them. Now, as you can tell, the behavior of the enemies are extremely natural, and the way I implemented this was by combining both random decisions and intelligent decisions. So that gives the impression of the enemies not being too smart, but being smart enough to know that I am not on their side. So if I just run up here in time, maybe I'll be able to finish the level. They are doing a lot of damage, and I think now's a good time to show the final special move, which is Q. A parallelized trap so up here there should be a few more enemies yep and if I press Q the enemies inside that circle will get paralyzed and now I can laugh in their face and jump onto the infinity stone so yay we finally collected two infinity stones and just like that the game will progress until spider-man collects all six infinity stones after which the game is over um, I guess this is all for the video if you want to see more I guess you guys will have to actually play it for yourselves, so for now, bye.